This morning's Breakfast Bible Bites will pick up in part two of Metaphors in the Tabernacle as we continue looking for metaphors of Christ in the Old Testament archetypes. The high priest, having accomplished the blood offering at the altar of sacrifice and washed his hands at the laver, he enters into the holy place. But let's walk with Jesus, our high priest, as he enters into the holy place, which is a scale model of the real throne room in heaven's tabernacle. Here light shines from the golden lampstand. In the heavenly version, the Apostle John reports in Revelation 21, 22 through 27, I did not see a sanctuary in it, because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its sanctuary. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it, because our God, our God's glory illuminates it, and its lamp is the Lamb. The nations will walk in its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. Each day its gates will never close, because it will never be night there. They will bring the glory and the honor of the nations into it. Nothing profane will ever enter it. No one who does what is vile or false, but only those written in the Lamb's book of life. The lampstand is the picture of Christ's deity and the spirit. The room is illumined illuminated by the flame, powered by the oil held in the cups formed by the almond blossoms. The power for the illumination speaks of the Spirit of Christ, where the sanctified oil represents an allegorical word picture of him and is used throughout the Bible. The almond blossoms speak of Christ as our high priest, a symbol established by Aaron's staff that budded in Numbers 17.8. The lampstand was pure gold, which also exemplifies Christ's divinity, embodied in humanity, since it was made from one piece of hammered gold, which is illustrative of Jehovah's suffering as a man. Exodus 25:31. The Spirit of Christ will stop at the altar of incense. Exodus 30, and verse 6, which was located just in front of the veil, separating the holy place. Exodus 40:20 from the most holy place, to gather the prayers of the saints. This altar was separated by the veil from the Ark of the Covenant and its covering of the mercy seat, above which was the very presence of God, Revelation 8, 3 through 4. Once a year, the high priest would take the blood of the sacrificial offering and enter through the veil, which is also detailed a, a detailed picture of Christ that separated the mercy seat on the Ark of the Covenant from the altar of incense. We are accompanied by our high priest. As his priest, we read in uh, Hebrews 10, 19 through 20, Therefore, brothers, since we have boldness to enter the sanctuary through the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way he has opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh. This curtain was torn in two at the death of Christ, and access to God has been opened, and his wrath against our sin debt has been appeased by the blood of our Savior. The altar of prayer is no longer separated from the Ark of the Covenant in Hebrews 9, 3 through 4. For a visual tabernacle layout, see part one, but the intent of this brief breakfast Bible bites was to stimulate your interest in biblical metaphors. If you are yearning to learn more and dig deeper into this subject, then click on breakfastbiblebites.org and the study Portraits of Jesus in the Tabernacle.